They connected one side of London to another. They had a significant cultural impact, but they remained unknown. She was a powerful black woman. She was passionate about the cultural offer to Londoners during the Second World War. She was a nurse who set up the British Hotel behind the lines in the Crimean War. They worked together collectively to campaign for women's rights. So 2018 is a really special year because it marks 100 years since the first women in the UK got the right to vote. As part of this year, the Mayor has launched a big campaign for gender equality. It's called Behind Every Great City. And as part of that, we have launched London Women. And it's all about celebrating and honouring the remarkable women who've made a big contribution to London. 20 young women artists are honouring these women with artworks across the streets and walls of the capital. They're bringing them out of the history books and onto the streets. My work is a visual ode to the women who built Waterloo Bridge. The work is made up of a number of different elements, including a text-based work and also live piano performance. I've painted this mural to celebrate the memory of Joyce Guy, who was an organiser who made spaces for the local Caribbean community here in Redbridge. My artwork is about Adelaide Knight and her choice to fight for women's right to vote. She was a disabled woman and she understood how difficult it is for women to fight for things sometimes. My artwork is a data visualisation of the life of Pauline Boti, who was a painter during the pop art movement. The piece was basically inspired by East London women and the suffragette movement and all of the campaigning work they did for women's rights and it's also in the suffragette colours. The work is a reimagination of myself as Mary Seacole as a large photograph at the Public Theatre. My piece is honouring Marlison, who is this incredible writer and activist, uh, particularly within the Bangladeshi community of Brooklyn. I think it's important for us to know who these women are because, um, for example, Winifred, she was a pianist. Back in the day, she was very famous. In 2018, she's not an household name, which, you know, she should be. My work is about Jane Drew, a female architect from Croydon. It's seven portraits, all incorporating her most iconic pattern from an architectural building she built in Chandigarh in India. My piece honours Noor Inyat Khan and highlights her work as a wireless operator. This piece is a depiction of Madge Gill, the outsider artist, and in the background is one of her works. The piece is about two women, Eva Gorbuth and Esther Roper, who were suffragettes and campaigned for the rights of working class women. My work is about Valda James, the first black mayor of Islington. And my work has been inspired by a carpet designed by Marion Dorn, who was born in 1896 in America. And my work is about Olive Morris, who was a black British community leader and activist. The work is basically just to honour her and all of the work that she's done for us. My work's based on Irene Ho, who's the first woman to get a degree from the University of Hong Kong, and she opened up her supplementary school in Chinatown in Poplar. She was a key organiser of the 1911 women's coronation procession. She raised funds for the education of Indian women. The artwork here on Portobello Road celebrates the work and life of Jackie Forrester, a TV reporter and lesbian rights activist. She was an enthusiastic and determined campaigner for women's rights, despite having mobility issues from such a young age. This has been a really important project for Tate Collective because they're helping to create artworks across London that everybody in London will see, celebrating some of the unsung women heroes of London's history. I think it's really important to remember people who are working in the community every day, you know, and they may not be the people you hear about, the most public facing people, they may not be MPs, they may not be celebrities, but they're working hard in communities to make them better. And I think it's really important to remember those people.